Okay, we have her over here on Micah. She's doing some ALS for a car that was involved in a sexual assault. So we're looking for semen and we found a stain. I mean, she did. She found a stain. So you can see it right there with the special glasses. Without them, you cannot. With them, you can. So she's taking some photos of it. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so today we are up on a crime scene. Um, you can see one of our CSIs over here photographing evidence. Um, we have a lot of marks on the ground. The green ones mark uh, typically blood or something like that. The yellow ones are used for like evidence like cartridge cases, like shell casings or whatever, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, today we have so many evidence markers on the ground that we are using our Faro. It's just like a laser scanner that use, uh, is used to measure where all of our evidence is at. And so we're doing that because we have so much on the ground, it would be a lot faster to just use the Faro. So that's what we're out on today. So yeah, anyway, see y'all tomorrow. All right, today we have a shoe print on a table. So we are going to try to lift it with our EDPO. It's also known as the electrostatic dust print lifter. So it just uses a uh, static to lift said print. So as you can see, it kind of sucked it down there. Here we go. I'm just going to use a roller to get all the air bubbles out as best as possible. Alright, we're going to turn this off and we're going to lift it. See how it came out. Beautiful. Today we are um, again training and we are using Blue Star, which is a blood reactive, so it reacts with blood. And um, so as you can see on this piece of fabric, we have some sort of stain that is reacting with Blue Star and we are safe to assume that it is blood. So she's going to photograph it, my trainee is going to photograph it and just make sure that we can see a photo of it for evidentiary purposes. And yep, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so today we are uh, going to show you how to do magnetic powder. So magnetic powder is just like latent print powder, just like that black powder we showed you in one of our earlier videos. But this time it's magnetic. So it's um, got like the little magnetic shards. We use a magnetic wand that it attaches to. And then um, to clean up, it's super easy. You just use your magnetic wand and you pick it all up and let it go. And easy peasy. There's our print. And uh, so just like in the first one of our earlier videos, um, he would just... Um, use lean print tape and lift it just like normal but that magnetic one is super cool it's just got a magnetic inside or a magnet inside it lifts up that magnetic powder and lets it go all right we are now out training how to lift a shoe print or how to cast a shoe print so we've got a shoe print in the dirt as you can kind of see in front of her she's going to start putting down the casting material just going to spread it out gently over that shoe print so that way we can lift the um, shape of the shoe print and send it off for comparison qualities. Again, this is for training, so we won't be doing that, you know, sending it off for uh, comparative whatever. Um, but, you know, at least you can see the cool process of how it's done. So she's just going to pour a whole bunch in front of it, and then she's going to spread it gently over that print. Shut up! We're back on one of our lab tables. We have a footprint on the table, as you can see. We're gonna show you how else we can lift a shoe print. So we have a gel lifter here. Uh, this is actually a black one, so we'll be able to see the contrast pretty well, I think. So she's gonna go ahead and place the gel lift onto the print very carefully, and then she'll use the roller to kind of help get any bubbles out. And then normally we would leave this for about five to 10 minutes, if not longer, just to kind of let it sit in there. But since we only have 60 seconds to work with, we're gonna go ahead and lift it once she gets done. So she's gonna go ahead and lift it. And there's the print. Looking good. <laughs>